So, it's finally coming. Porsche's maddest, most extreme and most in-your-face GT3 RS yet is due for reveal on the 17th of August. But while the 992 GT3 RS's details are to remain a closely guarded Porsche secret until its official reveal, with the new testing footage you see here, captured at the Nürburgring by our spy photographers, we've had a sneak peek at what's to come. So, without further ado, here's what to expect from Porsche's incoming flat six track monster. Oh, but before we get to the details, it'd be lovely if you could click that subscribe button to help support our channel. And of course, click the like button if you like what you're watching. First up, there'll be lots and lots of noise. As a GT3 base model, the RS is a naturally aspirated machine, which means it doesn't get turbochargers to boost the engine's output, but instead uses high revs to generate its power. And we mean high. The 4 litre flat six engine that we know and love from the standard GT3 can rev to 9,000 RPM, and it produces its peak well above 8,000 revs, meaning you're forced to extract that scintillating music from within the 911's back end to feel its maximum performance. It is epic. For anyone worried that the noise might tail off in the upcoming GT3 RS, our testing footage suggests otherwise. Just listen to that. Expect an engine output to beat the last GT3 RS's 520 horsepower, although unlike the GT3, the RS model will be PDK automatic only, with its heightened focus on outright performance, meaning no manual gearbox will be offered. This is about as close as you can get to Porsche's racing 911s on the road after all. Next up, Big Aero. Nowhere is the motorsport to road transition clearer than in the 911 GT3 RS's aerodynamics. It wears a package of exterior parts clearly designed to push and pull air over, around and through it with a focus on generating downforce, especially at the front and back. On the nose, there's a big front splitter that hangs low off the bumper with slats on the sides to direct air around the wheels and brakes, while the openings higher up on the snout are there to help extract air from under the car and keep it pinned to the ground. They're like those on the normal GT3, only much, much bigger. Evolved from the last GT3 RS are wheel arch vents over the front wheels. There too, you guessed it, enhanced downforce further, while the sides wear dramatic slats that look like straight edged Formula 1 barge boards, helping to draw air out of the wheel arches and direct heat away from the brakes. And then there's the wing. If you thought the GT3's swan neck wing was big, the GT3 RS's makes it look decidedly junior. It's more picnic bench than road car bodywork. Not only is it tall, but the wing surface area is enormous and the end plates are substantial. Combined with a fat rear diffuser that's split by a pair of exhausts, expect the back end of the GT3 RS to be extremely effective at forcing air out from under the car and pressing it into the surface below. Naturally, Porsche's clever adaptive suspension and famously fillsome brakes will be beefed up to deal with the added lows of this RS setup. With Porsche's motorsport expertise meaning everything from bushes to damper rates will be bespoke for this track focus model. It's the real deal. Or at least it will be for the lucky buyers you can get their hands on one, with Porsche GT models of late often seeing considerable demand despite slotting into price brackets many of us can only dream of affording. The last one costs from 140 k so assuming this one goes for something close to £150,000, you're still talking sub-supercar money. And that's for what is arguably the most engaging, authentically Porsche motorsport offering you can stick number plates on and legally drive to the shops. Sold. Us too, and rest assured we'll be doing our best to get a 992 generation GT3 RS down to Rockingham to see how it does on our recently refurbished racetrack, and whether it can break the production car lap record. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that.